this ASC A6 te test preparation, real world understanding of electri electricity, prevents good technicians from mastering skills to diagnose and repair electrical problems. And it's true, uh, you know, the sponge that's totally full, you really can't absorb anything. You need to wring the sponge out. So tonight we're gonna ask you to wring the sponge out, try to do that, and this class is not about how to trick out the test. We're gonna show you, you're gonna be able to do this with these examples. Now your meter, you should be getting a reading, and I want you to tell me what the voltage reading you have. Now you're gonna notice, we got one thing here. Vehicle had a dead battery and was jump started. There's a couple of problems on this. Engine is now idling, battery reading is now 12.9 volts. What's the next thing you're gonna check on this system? What scale is the meter on? Good, that's the 40 volt or 60 volt scale. All of the new meters now are going to the 60 volt scale because of 42 volt type of systems out there. And higher, obviously, okay? So, I'm reading here, this is zero. Everything after this, these are volts. This is gonna be millivolts. How would I read this? How many millivolts do I have on that 40 volt scale? 100. Even though I don't see anything over here, there's always that zero that's out there. I tell some people to take their meter and draw a zero on the end of it so they don't get confused. Some meters have the extra display, not all of them. Most automotive meters don't. They have four readings. The decimal can screw you. Oh, thanks. Let's say you got this now. What scale am I on? Now a lot of guys screw up, it looks pretty much the same, but you look at that decimal. What am I reading now? 10, 10 millivolts. 10 millivolts, not 100 millivolts. Everyone understand that? Good, good. We hope that you got something out of this. You think you learned a few things?